to do problem number two. So problem two says find f prime of x and find the derivative of f if f of x equals 3x minus x squared over the square root of Okay, so when we first see this problem, you might be like, oh, I should use the quotient rule. But what happens is we want to observe that there's only one term on the bottom. And when there's only one term on the bottom, it's faster to split up the fraction than to use the quotient rule. So I'm going to rewrite f of x as 3x over the square root of x minus x squared over the square root of x. And remember, you can only do this if there's one term on the bottom. So now I'm going to rewrite this again. And that's f of x equals 3x. And I'm going to change this x to x to the negative 1 half minus x squared times x to the negative 1 half. It is a negative 1 half because this is equal to x to the 1 half. And then when I bring it to the top, I subtract. I have a negative exponent. So now I'm going to combine. And when I multiply, I add. So this is to the power of 2 over 2. So 2 over 2 minus 1 half, I have x to the 1 half. And then this would be 4 over 2 minus 1 half. So I have x to the 3 half. So now that I have my function reduced like this, it's a lot easier to find the derivative than here. So now I'm just going to use power rule. So f prime of x. I'm going to bring down my power of the 1 half. So I'll have 3 over 2x. And then subtract 1 to the negative 1 half. And then minus 3 halves x. And then when I subtract 1, I get 1 half. So now I'm going to simplify this sum so that way it looks like my answers on my paper. So I have f prime of x is equal to 3 over the square root of x, 2 square root of x, sorry, minus 3 square root of x over 2. So now I want to get a common denominator. They both already have a 2, so all I'm missing is the square root of x. So I'm going to times this side by square root of x over square root of x. So I have f prime of x is equal to 3 over 2 square root of x minus root x times root x is x, so 3x over 2 square root of x. Now they both have the same denominator, so I write it as one fraction, so f, the derivative of f is 3 minus 3x over 2 square root of x. And that would be your final answer, and that is choice E. Okay. So let's review. When I see f of f like this, and they ask me to find the derivative, you could use the quotient rule, but it would get very long in the simplifying process. So if you have one term on the bottom, you want to split it up into two fractions. Remember, I can only do this if I have one term. And then I want to simplify. And I can bring this up as x to the negative 1 half, or you could have just subtracted from this step. Remember, if I'm dividing and I have the same base, I subtract exponents. If I'm multiplying and I have the same base, I add exponents. So I get it into just one function here, and then I use the power rule. So that's an easier rule to use than quotient rule. So I bring down my power and I subtract one, and then I bring down my power and I subtract one. I rewrite it, I get a common denominator, and then I combine it into my final answer. So this is number two.